Back to News 8 at noon, I'm Lisa Carberg. At Derby High School, the official football season came to an unceremonious close this weekend. The school announcing the team will forfeit the rest of their games. News 8's Kent Pierce explains what happened to the Red Raiders' season. They have a beautiful new field. They have one of the oldest high school football rivalries around. But what Derby High School does not have this year is enough players. So the season is over. They're going to have to forfeit the rest of their games. The football spirit is there in Derby, but with zero wins and five losses, this year's squad is small. It skews very young, and increasingly, those playing were getting injured. The coach and athletic director have a responsibility to keep the players safe. Unfortunately, the last two games that we played, um, we had more guys coming off the field, more frequent visits on the field um, by our athletic trainer. The team will keep practicing. While they forfeited official games, they will scrimmage neighboring Ansonia in a game that's going to highlight the few seniors on the squad. A committee has actually been looking into combining the Ansonia and Derby school districts. Combining football programs could be a factor in that discussion because the Naugatuck Valley has always been crazy about high school football. Derby still is, even though they went from no games last year to just five now this year. You know, our kids never stopped fighting and battling, and they still don't stop fighting today and that's you know that's just a testament to kind of like what valley football is all about and what our guys and you know um and, and you know being a derby red raider and being a student athlete in general is, is all about right now and they're going to try for a second scrimmage sometime before thanksgiving as well so that even if the kids can't get into an official game at least the players can get a chance to do a little playing in derby i'm kent pierce news 8.